Shua. Mercer. We're back. Tried to go ahead and review something that actually Shua had brought up fucking forever ago. Yes. It's called Clown. This was released in 2014. It stars Andy Powers, Laura Allen, Peter Stormare, who is in almost everything you've seen. American Gods, currently. Yeah. John Wick Chernobog. Yes. 22 Jump Street, Bad Milo, 2001 Maniacs, he was in Constantine, and Armageddon, and Fargo. Yeah, Christian DiStefano, who yes. is the, he plays, was it Jack? Yes. Yes, it yeah. was Jack. The plot to this movie is, there's a family of three, and it's the little kid's birthday, and the clown, they overbook, so the clown's not coming. The dad, who is a realtor, ends up finding his old trunk in one of the houses that he's fixing up to sell. He opens it up and he finds a clown outfit, and he goes, well, I'll just put this on. But it turns out, later on, you find out that it's not a clown outfit. Yeah, it's, it's the clown something. himself. Yeah. <laughs> It's Tim Curry from Rocky Horror. Oh, Rocker! <laughs> that was too good. This is duty. Oh, Rocker! Oh, Rocker! Oh, Rocker! Oh, Rocker! The point is, this dude starts to realize that he can't take this costume off. The problem is the premise sounds really stupid. Oh, I can't get the nose off. It hurts. Oh, shit. I can't. Oh, I cut myself. But it's like a nice, slow descent into madness. In a way, if, if you if, just you kind of thought about this, I didn't realize it while we're watching the movie, but when you put it that way, it's almost like if you took it yeah. and the fly and put them together. Yeah. It's almost kind of like yeah. that. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a slow like descent to this guy's, like, becoming something, uh, becoming a monster. It's a slow burn to a certain degree, and there's a lot of uncomfortable shit because he's walking around dressed like a clown, people making fun of him and all that bullshit. You start to realize the, 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 the whole, like, what, what it wants from him and it involves little kids being sacrificed. That, in and of itself, is already disturbing as piss. Nobody likes seeing little kids get killed. And if you're okay with it, fuck you. It, get, it gets pretty legit towards the end. You start going, oh, oh. <laughs> you do that a lot. It's got a very big creep factor to it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, there was one scene that... <laughs> There was one scene that Dave and I, the, the fucking Mercer and I thought that it was about, the movie was almost over, and we hit pause, and it was only like halfway through, and we were like, what the Whoa. fuck? So it, it, it does it, absorb it gets, some time. It gets fucking intense. Like, once, once you reach the halfway mark, it gets intense really fucking quickly. It's, it's worth seeing, especially if you are a, a patient horror fan, because you got to kind of have that... You know, you don't get like, you know, those, ah! you don't get the shit scared of you all the time. I did once. Yeah, you did. There, he did there, was, once, yeah. there was one, one good one. The gore is decent. I mean, and the effects the make, were... The pretty... fucking makeup is yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah, once he starts going, once the demon starts taking over, his makeup gets pretty fucking legit. I thought this was pretty good balance between, like, gore and staying true to the story and trying to tell the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. It was very clear. Nothing was really over the top. Yeah. To me, this, um, whenever we first saw House of a Thousand, you said that that was your Rob Zombie movie that you've been waiting, you know, a couple years yeah. for. Yeah. This is my equivalent to that. I thought it was uh, pretty good. I really liked the storyline to it. I really liked the creep factor. I mean, there were some parts in it that really, I felt kind of hit a a little too close to to it. I think it was we the clown plus it. kid. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom scene? I yes. totally forgot about that. Overall it was a nice little nice little twist on like, you know, creepy clowns and stuff. Yeah. Terrorizing and he, kids. And even if you throw in the it factor, it was still a pretty decent homage yeah. to 
that genre. The, the thing that really got me, to be honest with you, that really, like, that I noticed was that in the beginning, he looked like a fucking doofus. Right. But as the transformation kept going on, yeah. towards the end, he's pretty fucking scary. Nice and gradual. And in the end, you're like, KILL THAT MOTHERFUCKER! <laughs> I appreciated that a lot. <laughs> and the kids they had in this thing did a really, really good job. Like yeah, all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, specifically Jack, he did a very good job. Yes, he did. But all of the kids did very well. And the internal struggle you see with some of the characters that are trying to make, like like his father-in-law and then his wife, right. which I'm not spoiling that, but the internal struggle was... This is definitely a man you versus can monster. See it. Yeah. I mean, I'd be interested to see some behind the scenes footage and some commentary. Actually, yeah, I, yeah. I, I would dig that. I think that would be... Yeah, I, 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 would, I, would, I would sit and watch this one with, with commentary. Next up on the docket, we were going to do Stake Land 2. We're going to do Logan. We are. We're going to do Logan. They haven't seen it, but I have. Alien Covenant. As always, Frost. Sure. Mercer. And you'll see us next time.